Number two in your study guide asks us to um, find where this function is concave up and concave down on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So sine squared x, which I've written already here for you as uh, sine of x squared, because it's easier to see the power rule for this. Um, so when I find f prime, I get, uh, I get, did I write 2? Yeah, I did. So I get 2 times um, the derivative of the inside is cosine x, and then I need to do power rule on the sine. The sine squared drops down to just a regular first power, so I just get times sine of x. Um, to find f double prime, I need to use product rule. So I'll actually show this work out. I didn't show it much on the study guide key online, but I get um, 2 times the... How did I do this? I did 2 times the derivative of the first. The derivative of, of cosine is minus sine times the second. So the second is just sine of x. And then I'm going to do... So that was the derivative of the first times the second. Now I'm going to do the derivative of the second times the first. So I get plus 2 times um, the derivative of the second. The derivative of sine is cosine... And then v first is cosine as well, so cosine x, cosine x. So when I simplify this, I get minus 2 sine squared x plus 2 cosine squared x. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, and that's f double prime. And what I want to do is set it equal to 0, So, because that's where my points of inflection are. And where the concavity changes. So, as I said, it equal to zero. Remember, so my interval is on zero to two pi, and we'll come back to that later. Um, actually, we'll kind of come back to that now. Um, so, what this has is uh, my sine squared and my cosine squared, and there's a minus sine of one. So, I'm going to move this over and divide everything by two. Get sine squared x equals cosine squared of x. Now, on the key, I just jumped right to the values. Um, of where this is true, um, and I know because of the unit circle. Well, it's saying sine squared and cosine squared are the same thing, so that means that sine and cosine are the same thing, but the power of the, or the, uh, the, the sine of them, positive or negative, does not matter. Um, when are sine and cosine the same thing? Well, at 45 degrees, which is pi over 4, um, at the other 45, so remember, they're the x and the y coordinates for the unit circle. So 3 pi over 4, and then at this one, so it's at, like I'm going to go all the way around, all three of these. So the this is true at um, x equal to, um, actually, so it's equal, to, it's true at pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. Um, I'm going to erase what's here in a moment, so I'll make sure that you, if you want any of this stuff, you have it written down. Okay, so I've written our four values where f double prime is zero over here on the right. Um, actually, Sorry about that little pause there. Um, I thought that it was paused, but it wasn't, so whatever. Um, I've rewritten f prime so that I can plug in those values. So um, I need, or so that I can plug in values in between them. Um, and it's easier to see sine squared, cosine squared, like that. So um, I need to take uh, my different x values and figure out what f double prime is. So I'm going to start by writing all of my intervals. I go from 0 to pi over 4. 
I go from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. I go from uh, 3 pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4. I go uh, from there, 5 pi over 4, I'm going to run a space to 7 pi over 4. And then my last one is 7 pi over 4 to, sorry, it's not great looking there, um, 2 pi. Uh, and remember, that was kind of the end of my interval, 0 and 2 pi. So I'm going to kind of draw the unit circle here real quick. So I've got to go in between, actually here, I'll do it in a different color. I've got to go in between this line, this line, this line, and this line. I need to do sine squared and cosine squared and add them and whatever and multiply them. And I really don't want to have to do that all that work if I don't if I don't have to. So if I'm going in between all the orange little lines there, which are all my 45 degrees, I can just do zero degrees right here, zero. I can do um, pi over two. I can do pi over, uh, or sorry, pi. It's just straight up pi, and then I get a 3 pi over 2 on the bottom. So, um, and the reason why I choose that is because um, I know that sine is 0, or sine is my height. So sine is going to be 0 here and here. Um, so I can really quickly actually figure out the, um, the, the positive versus negative of the f double prime. So here, uh, sine is 0. And uh, cosine is um, 1. So this term is going to be 0. This term is going to be 1. And that's going to be true in this interval, in this area, in this area, and in this area. So I know that, um, so I know that from 0 to pi over 4, um, this guy is 0, that guy is 1. So this guy wins, and so it's positive because there's a positive two on the front of that. So now that is positive. I also know that um, this whole area, actually, so this and this are all the same because it's just between the same the two orange guys there. So between three of pi over four and um, five pi over four, I know that it's positive. And then I also know that in this area here, it's positive, and that's. 7 pi over 4 to 2 pi. Um, now, for the same reason, I can look at the look at this 90 degree as my test point, and I know that this guy becomes 1, and this guy is 0. So since this guy is 1, the sine, I've got a negative 2 times that, so it's going to be negative here, because that guy's 0, it goes away. Same thing here, this guy's negative. So I did that mostly with very little work, just thinking about the unit circles. Hopefully you're realizing more and more and more that the unit circle is super important for all this stuff. So now I need to know um, concavity of F. So when it's positive, it's concave um, up. So I'm going to write up. It's concave down, so I'm going to write down. Up down, up. Now I ask specifically for what are the, to state the x-coordinates of points of inflection. So um, I know that pi over 4 is a spot, whoops, pi over 4 is a spot where it changes from concave up to concave down, so that's point of inflection. And each of these little transitions, it changes from up to down or down to up or whatever. So 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and then 7 pi over 4. All of these are points of inflection. Points of inflection. Wink, wink, wink. And lastly, wink. So hopefully uh, that helps a little bit with that one.